everybody. This is Allie, and I think if you've watched any of my episodes, you might know that this is Sierra. And today we're going to be doing a shoot together. And it's kind of special, and I'm going to let Sierra talk about it because this is kind of... I really wanted to do this, and she really wanted to do this. I don't even know whose idea it is anymore. So Sierra... Why don't you tell them about the sh about what your makeup is going to be? Yeah, yeah. So, um, a while ago, you were saying something about how you wanted to do these crazy lips. So, um, <laughs> and basically, um, it kind of evolved from there because I have a inspiration um, on Instagram. Her name is Velada M U A. Um, she actually was just a makeup artist and, um, then she got noticed, um, on, uh, I believe it was on Instagram or maybe it was through her portfolio work. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but you know, now she works for like huge companies like Smashbox and, um, she's very creative. Yes. She's very creative and she does all these kind of crazy lips. Crazy. Um, and her lips are like really detailed. We're probably will not be doing anything as crazy as she does. She's really talented. Um, but we are going to do some interesting and different lips. Um, we definitely are. not your normal these are not, going out lips. Not going to wear them to work. No, no, definitely not. Um, but yeah, she was kind of my inspiration and then you really wanted to do these crazy lips too yeah. so it, it evolved from there so it's a crazy lip shoot <laughs> and from the photographer perspective I am going to be shooting it with my Canon EOS R mirrorless and I've got my 100 millimeter macro and I've never gotten to use my adapter because this is an old like from my 5d mark 3 so I'm going to use my adapter I'm planning to use my 27 inch softbox from Ellen Crom I have the Quadra Ranger lights from Ellen Crom and we'll probably put a reflector underneath her I think that one light and the reflector will do it um, and we'll see how it goes so I'll be doing a little bit of video also during the shoot so you can see the behind the scenes and see the light set up So Sierra got to work, did her own makeup, and here's a sample of some of the supplies and the brushes that she used to create her effects. Nothing too fancy here, everything was done by hand. Here's my studio setup. As you can see, I have one 27 inch soft box. We've got a reflector, and basically there's a seat. The reflector is going to sit on the stool. Sierra's on another bench. I just lean across the reflector light bounces off of it and gives a nice flat light which is what we want for this kind of photography. Oh, we are ah, in a tight little spot here. We have a reflector between us. Yes, yeah, Sierra likes her reflector. <laughs> and now it's we're like going to... like a space table. Yeah, we're going to look at us. We're going to shoot. Before we begin the editing, I just want to make it clear that we are going for a level of editing that is extensive and there's no way Sarah could have done the makeup to the level of perfection that I am going to achieve in Photoshop. These lips are heavily edited. Okay, so it's time to do some editing on this and these... Um, these particular images are really meant to have a heavy artsy look to them. So I just want to make like make it really clear that the kind of things I'm doing are not going to be realistic as far as how a real person looks. So the first thing I notice is that there's some lip skin that the, she didn't bring the makeup all the way up to. And I'm going to redraw this and I'm going to be bringing the makeup up to there. I've also seen that she's got like some areas where the makeup bled onto the membranes inside the inner lip. So that is all going to um, be blended out. I don't want, I want a nice clean line. Um, I can see there's a little makeup bleed here. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to get rid of this makeup bleed and like this area. 
And there's these little baby hairs underneath her lip. So these are all going to be removed through frequency separation. Uh, last, I'm going to basically remove all the texture from her skin so that I can then add texture back in. I'm going to dodge and burn so that this area is highlighted and this area is darkened. I'm going to make this area brighter and like kind of brighten the top of the lips a little bit here and darken underneath here. So I've got a plan and this is it's going to take me about an hour and when I'm done I'll go through the steps that it took to get this image completed. Okay so when I left you I had shown you that this was the check layer of all the work that I'm planning to do to this image and so what I have found with lips is I actually need to do two layers of frequency separation. So the first layer of frequency separation I am working more on the lip texture and I'm not really touching the skin that much. And the reason for this is because when you're doing frequency separation and you have to choose the blur, I find that in order to get all that texture on the lips, I have to do a really, really strong blur and it's not going to work for the skin. So that's the first layer. Then I add a second layer of frequency separation and it has a much less blur. And here's where I'm able to smooth the skin to the degree that I need to. For this particular layer, I do a lot of work on the low layer so that I can really, really smooth out the shadow transitions and the textures. And the next step is I add pores. And the pores give some texture back. And the way I do this, I have an action that does it, but I basically add a type of dodge and burn layer, um, a gray, an all gray layer, and you add noise, you emboss it, and you change your view to your blending mode to linear light, and you then add a little bit of blur. Um, then I add a layer mask and I remove the effect. So let me show you if I just disable the layer mask, see it's it's all over her teeth and, and, and we don't need pores on her teeth. So I remove the pores from those areas. After that, I will go ahead and reshape the mouth. And so just to show you how I'm doing that, if I go to my selection and I load a selection, so I take a pen tool and I um, I outline the lips. Once I've got them outlined, so then I'm able to go ahead and from within that outline, I can go ahead and clean this up and bring the lip, the lips out to that edge without going over. And if I find like there was an area you can see right here where there was bleed through outside of where I wanted to be. So in order to clean that up, I took my selection and I inverted it. And now I'm, I was able to clean up on this side of it. So that's the mouth shape. The next layer is I do some more cleanup. So you can see here, this cleanup is getting the lay, the, the inner part of the lip here. It kind of gets the things that I wasn't able to really get well in frequency separation on the lips themselves. I get all of the stuff out of the um, inside of her mouth. The next layer is a dodge and burn layer. And so you can see the difference this makes. I get this widow's peak to be more pronounced. Darken in the center, brighten here add a lot of highlighting here, make sure it's a little darker under here, and this gives the lips a lot of dimension. And so I also lightly brighten the teeth, but I don't want the teeth to be the star, I want the lips to be the star. After I do all this, I will still go through and fix a few little details. And in this case, the biggest detail was I decided to take these little cracks out of her teeth. And then the final steps are I throw on a black and white layer, I change the blend mode to soft light, and I kind of play around so you can see what you can do with this. And 
So I'll play around with the colors and I, I could make her blues really, really rich and dark. And, and actually that looks kind of cool, but I don't want to pull it that far over. I can also make the blues super, super light, but then they look washed out. So in this part here, I'm just kind of playing with the richness of the color and deciding um, I'm playing with the contrast, like the yellow you can see really controls her skin tone well. And then the red also controls the skin tone. And I really desaturate the reds because I, I again, like I said, the idea here is to get the emphasis onto the lips and the design and so that the emphasis is not so heavy on the uh, skin and the teeth and all that. So really it's a matter of all of that. And so here's my check layer. And I can see that all of the areas that I wanted to work on are done. So now I can delete that and I can save this image and we are good to go. Thanks for watching. So that's three sets of lips. And um, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, we dialed in the lighting and Sierra had a really good time with the makeup and we're gonna, she's gonna put the makeup that she used in the comments. So if somebody has questions on that, we weren't able to do video of her actually doing her lips. But uh, if anybody has any questions on her technique, you know, just ask the question in the comments. And um, don't forget, Sub like and subscribe and subscribe and hit the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Even though it doesn't work, it does work. No, 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 it works. No, I'm telling. I you. hit the bell on somebody and now I get notifications. No, 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 it doesn't work for everybody. It's actually a known error in YouTube. Yeah. Well, hit the bell anyway, just in case it works. Just in case it, it might, might work, work for you. Yeah, it doesn't always work for me. Okay, and <laughs> thank you for uh, watching and enjoying. I hope you learned something and had some fun. Bye bye gotten so good at this. Do you like my new setup? Huh? Do you? It, oh, you need the fucking lights. <laughs> there we go. Warm lights. I'm warming your winter ass. Are we centered? No. We're not. It needs to go more to you. Tell me when it's good. Whoa. No. Whoa. Whoa. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Background. Okay. What? How's that? That's good. Okay. Let me put my hair down. Like a regular person. Your hair looks great. Okay. Your blush looks really nice Thank on you. camera. How are my eyes? My eyes good? I don't know. I feel like my hair is like a tiger. Like, look. Yeah, but like a tiger that's not sexy. I like a tiger that had like a really bad hair day. Okay. <sighs> Listen, I'm, I'm not gonna fuck up as much as I, oh. I don't know, I'm not gonna fuck up as much beep, as I Beep, 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 beep! <laughs> Are you ready? I'm like a mushroom yes. person. Yes, okay. So here we are, third set of lips, and it's these spiders. I, I don't know why Sierra is wearing the reflector on her head. I'm in a cocoon! Fake guns.